Hello everyone and welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial video. So in this video I am going to show you how you can implement various basic animations on image views, text views and other stuff in Android Studio. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savant. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, this is a new project. See, hello world. Okay, now I'll delete this. Now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to bring in an image to which we can apply all those animations. So as you can see here, app, resources, drawable. See, I bought in this image. The name of the image is image.png. All right. Now I'll bring in this image here. Now if you don't know how to bring in images in Android Studio in constraint layout, then there is a video link here up here on the top right you can click on it and you can check it out so you'll understand the concept all right so now i'll bring in the image view right in the center of the screen okay image okay now the size of the image is too big so what we'll do is we'll just decrease the size okay let's keep it here and we'll just apply all of these to the image done now once you have brought in the image first important thing is that we'll give it an id so here it already has an id which is image view just hit enter all right it's already applied now once the image is within your screen let's go to the java activity all right now we'll come here one more thing that we have to do here is that we'll just go here okay here search for on click on click all right so give some name here let's say click okay and i'll hit enter now we'll go to the java activity what we'll do here is we'll create a method named click all right so whenever we click on that image the particular action will get implemented whatever we have written inside the method so i'll write public void click and here i'll write view as it is as it is an image view right so view here it will give an error just click alt enter and import class then it gets imported now open these braces curly braces okay once you have done this what we'll do is we'll find the particular image view and assign it to an object okay so image view space give the name to the object all right so we'll just name it image view okay which will be equal to first do the casting here also you'll write image view all right and then a classic find view by id inside it capital r dot id dot we had kept the id image view right so it will be available here just hit enter and then semicolon then we have assigned it to an object now the main part comes in okay now there are three types of basic animations which i'm going to show you First of all, what you have to do is write the name of the object image view dot animate. All right. Let's click on animate done and then press on the dot and see these are the various animations which you can do. All right. There are various things which you can do. All right. Now there are three, one of the three or four things. All right. First, most basic is alpha. All right. Now, once I bring in alpha, alpha means the opacity. All right. Now, by default, the opacity is 100, right? So, I can change it to 0 so that it will disappear. All right. I'll set the alpha to 0. And I'll also set a duration. All right. Set duration means the particular action which you are going to perform will get performed within that time limit. Now, if I set the duration to 2000 milliseconds, which is 2 seconds, right? And a semicolon here. Now, if I run the application, all right, I'll just hit this. What will happen is, I'll just open this. Okay, this is the AVD. All right, let the Gradle build. All right, the changes have been applied. Now the application will restart. Okay. Okay, there is some error. Image view ID was added. Wait a second. All right, we have added a new image, right? So it won't just do the instant changes. We'll have to run the whole application and wait for the Gradle to build. Okay, the application is here. Okay, it's here. Now, I had set the alpha to zero with the duration 2000. So now once I click this, 
within two seconds this image will disappear let's do it click and as you can see the image has disappeared all right that's the basic animation which is alpha now let's go back all right let the set duration be here okay i'll just erase this alpha now there is an animation translation all right there are various of these x y x by y all right so i'll just teach you first of all basic x translation x translation x means that this is the x axis and this is the y axis right now the x axis means now if i write here 2 50 all right let's just take a small number for now so that i can show you translation x 250 and now i run this okay let's open the emulator okay now once i click on this within two seconds see what action happens all right it will shift right on the x axis okay so that is translation x now if you want it to go on the left side just put a minus here all right and then run the application and then once you click on it it will go to the left within two seconds now if you reduce the duration it will go faster on the left side it will go within one second uh, click this see it went faster so that's how you can apply translation x now i've just put translation x now if i click again on this no action will appear here but now if i put translation x by and then if i run this okay now i clicked it once now i clicked it twice it will go again i click it thrice it will go again four times it will go again all right so that's x by y now the same you can do with y all right you can just remove this y by and then if you run this application okay now if i click on it it will go up because it is minus now it, if it is plus it goes down all right i'll just erase this i'll run it now if i click on it it will go down by 250 now if you want it to go out of the whole screen just double whatever amount you have kept or just keep the number big all right in thousands or something all right it will just go out of your screen within one second so that's translation by y and y by all right now if i add by same thing it will just go on going down one click second click third click fourth click and you can just go on with that all right so that was translation by now the second animation which i'm going to show you let's erase this this first all right now we are done with translation second thing will go with rotation all right now you can rotate the image all right just we'll just take rotation first all right now there are degrees right now if we rotate it by 360 all right let's see what happens 360 within let's take two seconds for now rotation 360 for two seconds apply the changes all right so this is our image now if i click on it it will rotate within a full circle which is 360 now if i apply 180 let's see what happens if i apply 180 all right get it it will just flip so just know what angles you are using you can write 270 90 whatever you want according to your preference all right just if you want a whole circle 360 now there's rotation x rotation y let's see what it does rotation x all right let's keep it like 360 again let's run it now 360 within two seconds i'll click on it and let's see what happens get it if you click on it it will just rotate with this angle okay i'll show it to you again i'll click on it okay now you might be asking why it disappears it disappears because once it goes halfway then it will become a slim thing so you can't just see that thing so that's that all right now again x by will come now you know why by is used here right once we run it if you click twice thrice or many more times it will rotate that many times once all right second time third time and it just goes on all right 
Now, if you're wondering what y by does or what y does is that just run it. All right. Now, if I click it, let's see what happens. All right. It will click in this angle vertically. Okay. So that's what rotation animation does. Now we are done with two of them. Now I'll show you the third and the final one, which is scale. All right. Let's just write scale. Now there are scale X and Y. Now what scale is does is basically if you want to zoom in or zoom out the image once you click on it, then this application, uh, this animation will apply. First, let's take X. All right. Now let's say this is my image. I want to reduce it to half size. All right. It will become small. It will shrink. So normally it is one. So what we'll do is 0 0.5. All right. And then dot scale Y also. 0.5 now as you can see there's an error here it should come here also all right so what is this error is see now here what we have taken is 0.5 which is a float value all right now if we don't convert it to float uh, float it will give an error this is a double for now so what we have to do is either you can just press alt enter cast parameter to float and the error we go error will go same you can do it here but i'll show you an easier way just delete this all right and just write a small f in front of both of them the rl will go all right so it's converted to float now if we run the application all right so the duration is two seconds and these two parameters we have given once i click on it see it shrinks down to half now if you want to zoom it just Put 1.5, 1.5, and then run it. Now, if I click on it, as you can see, it gets zoomed in. All right, so that's what scale X and scale Y does. All right, now one more thing which I can show you is an addition is that let's go back to, let's say, uh, rotation. All right, let's take rotation. Rotation X by let's say 360 or let's take a bigger value. So the animation will look good, which I'm going to show you now, as you can see, I've already taken rotation. Now I can also add more animations in the same thing. Like let's take alpha and let's make it zero. So what will happen here is within two seconds, it will rotate this many times and then it will disappear that is within two seconds it will rotate this many time and it will make the opacity to zero now let's run it now if i click on it see what happens it will flip and it will go away all right so that's what it does let's take a normal rotation same thing i'll click on it and as you can see it disappeared so that's how you can execute all of these animations one by one. You can also play with all those various animations which you get once you write this option. All right. So that was the video. That's how you can implement all these basic animations in Android Studio. Now, if you find this video useful, if you find any value in it, do like the video, share it with your friends, the coders who don't know about this stuff in Android Studio so that they'll also know about it. And do subscribe to the channel. I post tech videos like these Android Studio tutorial videos every week and tech related videos as you can see in my description in my channel and all that stuff. So yeah, consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.